Hello, everyone. I'm Leslie Earhart, a public information officer for the Tennessee Bureau of Investigation. Thank you for your patience as we've gathered the details to put together tonight. Uh, please understand that this is a fluid situation, so there's not a lot of information that we can release at this time. Agents are still at the scene of the incident, conducting interviews and gathering any evidence that's relevant to the investigation, so it's a very fluid situation. You're going to hear from TBI Director David Roush. He's going to give you the latest on the investigation. Also, um, Knoxville Police Department Chief Eve Thomas is on hand to provide a status update on the officer who was injured. Thank you. Thank you, Leslie. Thank you all. So at, at the request of the 6th District Attorney General Sharma Allen, TBI special agents are investigating the circumstances leading to an officer involved shooting that occurred this afternoon in Knoxville. Preliminary information indicates that at approximately 3.15 p.m., the Knoxville Police Department received a report of an individual that was possibly armed with a gun at Austin East High School. Upon arrival, officers located the individual in the school in a restroom. They ordered him out, but he refused to comply. As officers entered the space, the subject reportedly fired shots, striking an officer. One officer returned fire. He was pronounced, the suspect was pronounced dead at the scene and has since been identified as a student at Austin East. The officer who was shot was transported to a local hospital for treatment. At this time, the investigation remains active and ongoing as TBI agents continue to gather any and all relevant evidence, interviews, and information. Throughout the process, investigative findings will be shared with the District Attorney General's Office uh, for her further review and consideration. And that's all I have for now, and I'll turn it over to Chief Thomas. Our officer was shot at least once in the upper leg. He is in serious condition and is currently in surgery, and that's all I have. Um, we, we offer our prayers, our thanks to TBI um, for stepping in to do this investigation, but um, our prayers for the family and for the suspect who passed. Um, but that's all I have at this time. I can't tell you that at this time. Not yet. It was just very chilling, um, first of all, to hear we have an officer down, and secondly, that it was at a school. Um, it's just, it, it's a sad day for the Knox One, our community, and our police department. I have not. I intend to, to head that way afterwards so I can hopefully see him when he gets out of surgery. Sure. Um, so what's currently going on is we still have agents on the scene. Uh, they're going to gather all obvious uh, the evidence there. Uh, we'll be reviewing. Uh, microphone. We'll be reviewing uh, the video evidence uh, from the officer's body body one cameras uh, we'll be reviewing video evidence from the school itself uh, knox county security is working closely with us uh, to assure that we have all of that and so those are all pieces of uh, of, of the effort so and then there'll be interviews uh, that'll take place of uh, all potential uh, witnesses uh, as well as obviously anyone that was involved uh, that that's pretty much the the the, the typical uh, process. You said that this happened when the suspect in the restroom of the school. Um, the suspect appears to have you confirmed that as well. Officers respond to that. Can you describe anything about that encounter? How long it lasted? How long it took for officers? Yeah, we're still way too soon in the investigation to get into those type of details. Do you know if other students were around? I, again, way too soon. Uh, we, we, we're still gathering all of that information. Uh, we, we've yet to review video, and so that will give us even more uh, the detail of what we need to know. Now, we're not sure what the status of the officers are other than they're KPD officers. Okay. 
Uh, so I, I, I don't know what their I role. Like, yeah. Two <laughs> right. Officers, two sure. Law enforcement officers, yeah. One alleged suspect. Yeah. Then... There, there may have been more officers on the scene. Uh, again, we, we're, we're working through all that. We know that there were additional officers that were responding. And so at, at the time of the shooting, we're not exactly sure yet how many were actually present. So uh, we do know that one officer returned fire. Sure. And then, so any indication that the shooter was in the restroom preparing to do anything with the gun that he had brought to school? Or was there, this was a, was there a stop something or was that just him in the restroom? They caught him there? Had yeah, all that's still too preliminary to, to have that detail. And, and no arrests were made? N no arrests that I'm, I'm familiar with at this time. We heard that someone may have yeah, so if anyone was was detained, it's more than likely witness type of information that I know uh, currently. So uh, obviously, any any witnesses, we'd want to have them immediately to be able to talk to them. But that that that's the best I can give you right now. Yeah, that that detail we can't go into at this point. Sir, you were chief of the police department for for many years, and you know. You know, it, it's it's a sad day. You know, it's unfortunate, as as Chief mentioned. You know, these are the days you don't ever want to get this phone call, right? And uh, obviously, because of my connection, uh, it was important for me to be here. I, you know, I, I was close by, thank goodness, um, in in the uh, in the region. And so, um, you know, I I wanted to come by and, and make sure a couple things, right? Is uh, to let folks know that that our investigators are on it. Uh, we will conduct our investigation thoroughly. We'll, we'll gather all the facts and we'll present those facts as we do in any uh, incident that, that we're called to handle. Um, and then, you know, and it's it's to, you know, visit this community that I love. You know, I've spent a lot of time here in this community. And so, um, you know, it, it's uh, it's a sad day for Knoxville and uh, and it's tough for Austin East. You know, we've spent a lot of time when I was here, spent a lot of time working at Austin East and, and uh, you know, had, had uh, I've got some great memories. Of, of interactions with the students there and the, and the staff there. And so um, it's, a, it's, it's difficult, right? And so, uh, you know, my prayer is that the community will, will come together. You know, don't let this be divisive. Uh, come together, let's continue to work. I know this week was identified as, you know, Youth Violence Interruption Week or something of that nature. And, uh, and so, you know, it's a tough way to start a, a week that you're focusing on trying to keep people safe, right? Uh, I know there was a great event this weekend, uh, you know, uh, by the Change Center and, uh, you know, and, and there was people having fun and relaxing and enjoying each other's uh, uh, company. And so, you know, we need more of that, and less of this is what that, that, that's my gut tells me that to, to share, you know, and, and uh, more than anything, just uh, just what a sad day, uh, you know, for the family that lost their loved one and uh, for the families of the, the, the officers that had to had to get engaged in this. Uh, I, I, I believe there is body worn camera footage, as I understand. Chief, can you speak really quickly to the response you saw from agents, all kinds of agencies and officers? What's it like when that call goes out on the radio in response? So, yes, I've heard from many different agencies all, you know, offering their prayers and their support. Um, and it's, that is a great feeling. Um, it's a great feeling that, you know, when, when we call for and ask for TVI's help, and they they come. Um, it's it's a great feeling to know that that Director Roush has come personally. Um, you know, we we served many years together, and it means a lot to me personally. Well, we have a student, that, you know, a school incident. It's our worst. Our, it's our our worst fear, is an active shooter in a school. Um, those are our kids. Most of us are parents. Those of us who aren't, I mean, we all have a soft spot in our hearts for kids. We don't want anything to ever happen at a school. That's 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 the worst thing that we we see happening. And then to hear uh, involved also as an officer down. Uh, and it was right at shift change time. Our afternoon shift was getting ready to come on, so we had some additional officers uh, just coming down shift as well. Well, 3:15, yes. 
You know, I, I can tell you that initially we, we locked down the school. We wanted to make sure that we had the people involved under control, that we knew who had been involved or, or as best as we could tell and that everyone else was safe. And so at that point, then we want, we made a plan, you know, work with the school to get those students back to their loved ones uh, in a safe manner, an orderly manner. And so we worked together with the school system. Um, everyone worked together very well in a very chaotic situation. Yeah, I, I can't go into those type details right now. That, yeah, I I can't speak to that at all. I was not being there. What kind of guns? Was it a handgun? I, I I can't speak to those details at all. Those those are part of the investigation. Yeah, let, let let me touch one thing. It just again because of the questions on, um, again this wasn't a school shooting. This was an officer involved shooting inside of a school, right? So it's much different, right? Uh, so at, at this point, the the student hadn't done anything with the firearm until the officers engaged, right? And so, so it's not a school shooting, right? So we have to be careful with our language and how, how we, we classify this. Um, so it, it's, it's a officer involved shooting that happened inside the school, right? And so it, it's, it's important to make that distinction. I, I, if, if the student still brought a gun inside the school. He, he brought the firearm inside the school, yes, sir. He, he fired it inside the school, yes, yeah. but. Uh, but I think it's it's critical to keep in mind, right? And so as we, you know, as, as we work these these different types of incidents, right? And so it, it wasn't at this point it hadn't gotten to that point of him using it or trying to go out and hurt anyone with it. It was reported that he was potentially armed, and then when the officers engaged him, he was armed and he, he engaged the officers, right? And so it's important that that we're very clear with that with that information. I, I, I can't go into that detail at this point. Just, just for clarification, was the shot fired before officers engaged or after officers? So, so again, those details we're working through. Um, and so I, I, I believe the, the information preliminarily, right? And, and keep in mind, all of this is preliminary information until we get more detail, right? But preliminarily, the subject fired first, and then the officers returned fire, or the officer returned fire. I'll leave that to Chief. We are, we're, of course, monitoring as we always do. Um, you know, we, we remain prepared for unusual and unforeseen events. So, you know, we are, we are monitoring. Chief, what would you say when the officers are tomorrow and Wednesday, officers, what would be the message that you would give to families and students when they return to school on Thursday? You know, we, we want kids in school. We want them in a good learning environment. We want to provide a safe learning environment, and we will do everything we can to make sure that that happens. Um, you know, it's, again, this was unfortunate. This is not Knoxville. This is not the community that we are. And, I, and you know, it's an un unfortunate and very sad, sad incident, but hopefully not to be repeated, and we will do everything in our power to make sure it's not repeated. And one more question. One more question. The officer fired his weapon inside the school? I, those are parts of the investigation I can't talk about at this time. Can you speak to that? Yes, the, the officer fired uh, in response to the the, uh, the, the fire, uh, the gunfire by the suspect. Was the student who died hit by that gunfire? That is still preliminary. We're still looking into that. All right. Thank you guys for your patience and for coming out. Uh, a written statement has been posted on tbinewsroom.com. If there are any updates and when there are updates to provide, that's where the new information will be posted. So continue to check back there. Also, if you have any follow-up questions after this briefing and moving forward, please send those to tbi.media at tn.gov. Thank you.